let's look at the friendly numbers addition strategy. Friendly numbers are any two numbers that add up to 10. Let's look at the friendly number pairs on a 10 frame. And there's another name for this strategy, another common name, and that is number pairs. So on this 10 frame, you can see 10 red counters and zero yellow counters. So 10 and zero are friendly numbers. They're two numbers that add up to 10. Here, you can see that one of the red counters is now gone and we've added a yellow counter. So we have nine red and one yellow. So nine and one are friendly numbers. Now we have eight red and two yellow. So eight and two are friendly numbers. Now we have seven red and three yellow. So seven and three are friendly numbers. Now you might be noticing a pattern. If you are, predict what's going to happen next. Okay, let's see. Hmm, did you predict that one of the reds would change to yellow? If you did, great job, you're noticing the pattern. So now we have six red and four yellow. So six and four, are friendly numbers. Now we have five red and five yellow. Five and five are friendly numbers. Okay, now we have four red and six yellow. Last time we had six red and four yellow, and we knew those, we knew that six and four were friendly numbers. So four and six also have to be friendly numbers. Now we have three red and seven yellow. So three and seven are friendly numbers. We have two red and eight yellow. So two and eight are friendly numbers. We have one red and nine yellow. So one and nine are friendly numbers. And we have zero red and 10 yellow. So zero and 10 are friendly numbers. Now, the reason that friendly numbers are important is for when we get to bridging 10. And you don't need to worry about that strategy right now, but you're going to be bridging 10 for addition and subtraction, um, especially when we get to double digit addition and subtraction knowing the friendly numbers is really, really important. So let's take a look at this chart. So on this chart, we have the friendly numbers set up like this. Zero and 10 are our first set of friendly numbers. Then we have the friendly numbers one and nine, two and eight, three and seven, four and six, five and five, six and four, seven and three, eight and two, nine and one, 10 and zero. Do you notice any patterns when you see all of the friendly numbers in a chart like this? I'm going to give you a moment and you can also stop and pause the video if you need longer. Okay, now pause the video here if you want to take a look at these at this chart for a few more seconds. Um, let's take a look at what patterns we notice here. Did you notice that as uh, in this left column here, that as you go down, the numbers get bigger by one each time? So you're just counting up. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did you also notice that the right column goes down by one? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. 
Did you notice that as one number gets bigger, so this one gets bigger, one, the other one gets smaller, so 10, nine. So this one went up by one, and this one went down by one. And that's going to happen every time. Up by one, down by one. Up by one, down by one. Now, there are a couple of ways that I think are really handy to practice your friendly numbers. One of them is on your fingers because you have 10 fingers. So if I said what friendly number goes with five, you could put up five fingers and then you could look at your other hand and see how many fingers are still down. So I see when I do that, I see that I have five fingers up and I have five fingers down. So five is the friendly number that goes with five. Another example is, what if I said, what number do I need to add to six to make 10? I could put down six fingers and I would see that I have four fingers still up. So six and four are friendly numbers. So four would be the number I would need to add to six. So here are a few practice questions for you. Oh, sorry, the other way that you can practice friendly numbers is on a 10 frame. So just like we looked at the 10 frame, uh, the friendly numbers on the 10 frames earlier in this slideshow, uh, using the counters, the double-sided counters. So the counters that have red on one side and yellow on the other side. You could do it that way. So if I asked what number do I need to add to 2 to make 10, you could put two reds and fill the rest in with yellow and then count the yellows and it would be eight yellows. Or if you wanted to do it a little bit faster, you could just put in the two red and then count the blanks because you know that there are 10 in a 10 frame. So you're just counting how, how many you, you would need to add. Um, you don't actually need to add them. Uh, you don't actually need to put the counters in. Okay, so let's do some practice. And you can do this practice uh, using a 10 frame and counters. You can do this practice using your fingers. Um, or you can do this practice uh, just in your head. So um, I will read the question and then I would like you to pause the video each time until you have the answer and then you can uh, press play and see if you got the correct answer. What number do I need to add to 9 to make 10? Pause the video here. Okay, and check your answer. One. What number do I need to add to three to make 10? Pause the video here. And check your answer. Seven. What number do I need to add to five to make 10. Pause the video here. Five. What number do I need to add to 10 to make 10? Pause the video here and check your answer. Zero. What number do I need to add to six to make 10? Pause the video here and check your answer. Four. What number do I need to add to two to make 10? Whoop. 
I forgot to say <laughs> pause the video. You need to add eight. And that is the end. So keep practicing your friendly numbers. This is a really important one to, um, to practice. Enjoy!